let's talk about how to get a deeper turn and keep your arm straight. Believe it or not, getting a deeper turn and keeping your arm straight are related. One of the reasons you bend your arm in the back swing is you're trying to get a deeper turn. Now why does your arm bend when you try to in the back swing when you're trying to turn really deep? Well, a lot of people have this image in their mind of professional golfers. I'm going to use John Daly as an example. Someone who gets a really big turn. And not only do they get a big turn, but they get that club way back over the shoulder where it's pointing down. I mean, they're just like all the way down to the ground here. And they're thinking, I've got to get turned like that. I've got to get turned like John Daly. Well, most of us don't have the flexibility to make that kind of move, not in our shoulders, not in our arms or wrist, we just can't do it. So subconsciously what happens is, because they're trying to get this, your club head, you know, back there, when they get up to their max turn that they can do and keep their arms straight, they bend it trying to get that club head back there to that spot, trying to get that shaft level trying to get that head back there. I mean, yeah, I've got the shaft level pointing at the target, but my arm is not. My arm's in a terrible spot. You're better off having it there, keeping your arm straight, than bending it, even if you don't get the shaft back level of the ground. As a rule of thumb, it is not an absolute rule that you have to get your shaft level. Plenty of golfers don't. So we're going to do a series on how to make that turn and keep your arms straight and break that mental image in your mind that you've got to turn and get that shaft level, get that head back there, which is causing you to bend your arm. This is number two in the series on keeping your arms straight and getting a deep back turn. You can click at the end or click here to see the whole series. Now how far back does your lead arm go in the uh, golf turn? Most people have no idea. So I'm going to borrow the simple drill from uh, really stretch exercise so you can get some idea. Just take your arm, level it up, bring it across your chest and now bend it. Put your other arm here and pull it across. As you can see, this is as far as your arm actually goes. See, it's not going flat across, it's very small amount. You can just take it, pull up here, and pull it across. This will give you some idea how far your arm should go. Now notice if I get down in a golf stance and do that exercise, look at what my arm looks like. This is the same drill, but now I'm down in a golf stance. So I'm pulled it across. Now I turn. And you see how little my arm goes across? Well, I'm not very flexible. I'll admit that up front. I can't get that like John Daly look. When I add a club in my hand, let's see if I can hold it one-handed. Let's see how far back it will go. So I'm gonna pull it across and get in my golf swing. See, that's kind of my top of the back swing position. Not kind of, it is. You notice, or I hope you notice, that my arm is really not in that, or club, it's not parallel with the ground. It's really pointing up. I've got a really short back swing and that's because I just don't have a lot of flexibility in my shoulder. But I'm like a, most people. Most people are not that flexible, particularly my age. So you've got to learn to work with what you've got. So this is your first drill is kind of get that mental image out of your head that your club has got to go way far back, that it's got to get level with the ground. You've really just got to work with what you've got. 
You know, a lot of people want their backswing to look like Tiger Woods. And he does have a great swing. Almost a model swing. That vertical arm, the driver parallel with the ground, pointing at the target. It's just beautiful luck. Or some want to look like Phil Mickelson. His arms almost wrap around his body. The driver wraps around his body as well and literally points at the ground. For a lot of us, neither swing is practical. Let's look at some examples of pro golfers with short swings who are very successful. Golfers who don't get their arms vertical. Golfers who don't get their clubs anywhere near parallel with the ground. The first person we're going to talk about is Dana Quigley. He had 18 wins on the PGA Tour. No majors, but did pretty well for himself. And he's had 11 wins on the Champions and Senior Tour. He's been a very successful golfer. Let's take a look at his swing. Now remember, this is his driver swing. He's got a regular setup. Let's get to the top of the back swing. Notice how low his arm is, almost parallel with the ground. This is a professional golfer, a golfer who made money on tour. Notice the arm angle. Notice the angle of the club. This is a person who obviously doesn't have a lot of flexibility. He doesn't get the club thrown over his shoulder like so many professionals, or like many ex instructors expect all amateurs to do. It's a nice, clean, but really short swing, and he's been a very successful golfer for years. The first example right off the bat that you really don't need a really deep swing to play professional golf, much less just to be good. It's much more important to have good form and not bend your arm than it is to get deep. Remember, what we're trying to do here is eliminate this idea in the back of your head that you have to get your driver parallel with the ground. You don't have to get your club head back there. Just get it where it needs to go. Next, let's talk about John Rahm. He won the US Open in 2021 and the Masters in 2023. Another person with a compact swing. This is his driver swing. Let's go from the setup to the top of the swing. Again, you see where his arm is? You see where his club head is at? He's not far back at all. This is a very compact swing. Someone who's not overswinging and winning big. See, he doesn't get his arm back up there over his head, and that shaft is nowhere near being parallel with the ground. Yet, yeah, he's a great golfer on a couple of majors. Finally, let's talk about Tony Fanu. He's won five PGA events. Now just look at that arm and shaft. That arm is nowhere near vertical. The shaft isn't parallel with the ground. Yet he's got a great swing. He's a professional golfer. It's a compact swing, but a great swing. I hope we've broken that idea that you've got to get the club head back really far. You don't. There are plenty of pros that don't fit the model and yet are winning on tour. You've got to work with the flexibility you've got. Some people are really flexible and can get back there. Others aren't. Whatever it is for you, it's better to have good form than to break your form in an effort of trying to get the club head back there or swinging around. Get the idea out of your head that you've got to get the club head really far behind you or that you've got to bring that shaft parallel with the ground. Just fold your arms and get them into the best position you can given your flexibility. That's what these pros have done. And you see what they're doing. They're winning on tour. They're professional golfers. If they can do it, it will certainly work for you. 
Okay, now we're gonna learn how to turn and kind of keep your arms out of it. Uh, a lot of people with their turn, they, you know, they're really arm focused. They pull with their arms. So we're gonna use our trusty PVC pipe here first and just learn how to turn and get an idea of really how far you can turn. So just getting your stance down with the PVC pipe and I want you to just turn your shoulders. Notice how far your shoulders can turn. Just turn your shoulders. Get used to making this turn. Notice it's just your back and your shoulders making the turn. Just think about turning your back to the target. You don't need a lot of bend over and just turn your back to the target. Okay? Turn your back to the target. You need to learn that your turn is done with your back. It's not done with your arms. Far more, too many people turn with their arms and they just get it wrong. Now remember, when you've got your club, your club is not a turn, it's just an arm fold. It's just fold your arms. So when you're down in your stance, you make your turn, it's just turning and folding your arm. I mean, just turning and folding your arm. Still think about turning back toward the target. Just turn and fold. Now you may not get that deep of an arm or your arm over that far, that's okay. Uh, a short swing is fine uh, in golf. But for this drill, I want you to take your PVC pipe and just practice your turn, okay? You're just focused on turning with your shoulders. And it's your shoulders that make the turn. Okay, it's a core turn. You don't use your arms in the turn. You don't pull or tug with your arms. This is just the part one step by step. So I want you to take your club, line up like you normally would, and just make a small turn, keeping your arms straight. I want you to keep your eye on your elbow. Okay, don't look at the ball, look at your arm, particularly your elbow pocket. Remember, this is a little half turn. Just watch your elbow. What I want you to do is get the feeling of turning until you get to that point where you start to feel like, okay, I need to tug on this arm or do something to get it back farther. But don't go any farther. I just want you to get that feeling, oh, this is, I'm at that tug or bending my arm point and I want to bend it more, don't. I want you to learn how, what it feels like when you get to that point and you're saying, oh, I want to bend my arm more, at least subconsciously. You don't want to bend your arm. So we're just starting this drill. It's just a half turn, just like that. Do it a little half turn. Now, if you want to hit some balls, that's perfectly fine. But remember, I want you to keep the eye on that pocket. Now this little half turn, it's a good shot to have in your repertoire anyway. So it's good to practice it. Uh, don't feel like you're wasting your time. But the point here is to work on keeping that arm straight as you turn. This is number six in the arm turn series. Uh, now we're gonna do a full turn, but we're gonna make it a two-parter. We're gonna do that little half turn from the previous drill. And then we're gonna turn the full turn. The mistake that so many people make, which is why I had you do the half turn, is 
they get to this little half turn point and they feel the tension and they know they can't get their arms back anymore. So what they do trying to get their arms back farther is they start to bend. You need to just learn to accept your arms go back a certain amount. So what I'm going to do here is kind of drill in the feeling of instead of bending your arms, turning your shoulders more. So just get into your position, make that little half turn till you stop, and now turn your shoulders more. Keep your eyes on your elbow, make sure it doesn't bend. Again, turn to the stopping point. You can't move your arms anymore and now continue to turn your shoulders to their back your back is facing the target learn to turn your shoulders and just once you get your arms as far as they can go learn to kind of relax your arms don't do anything else with them remember all you're doing in the golf move with your arms is you're just folding them like this this is the move with your arms in the golf turn it's just a fold you just fold your arm up like that learn to do that and then just relax your arms and just hold them there don't worry about adding any more tension or anything else you can only do what you can do with your arms you've only got so much flexibility so learn to work with what you've got again the move is And keep your eye on your elbow, make the little half turn, and then turn your shoulder back toward the target. And if you want to do some swings with that, that's fine. Get some balls, hit some balls. Uh, just remember to keep your eye on your elbow pocket. Uh, it may be hard keeping your eye off the ball and hitting it, but that's okay. The idea is to learn to get back as far as you can. And learn to get back by turning your shoulder, not getting back by bending your arm. This is number seven in the arm drill series, or keeping your arms straight. I call this drill, look, don't look. Remember our last lesson? We're trying to keep our arms straight and make our full turn. Came this little half turn watching our elbow and then turn the rest of the way with our shoulders. And I made sure if you wanted to, you could swing, hit some balls. Well, now that we're gonna switch it back between looking at your elbow and keeping your eye on the ball. The reason for doing this is to drill in that feeling that you're turning your shoulder, not bending your arms. But also, go, when you go back and forth, you keep, Keep that feeling of keeping your arms straight. If you just keep your eye on the ball, it's easy to get some slack in your back turn and start bending your arms. So for your first turn, just like the drill, I want you to keep your eye on your elbow and swing for your next one. Keep your eye down, so make your initial turn and then turn the rest of the way with your shoulder. And I want you to alternate back and forth between those two. By doing those, doing it that way, you'll maintain this good habit with your arm and keep it drilled in. If you try to do like 100 in a row, keeping your eye on the ball, it's real easy for this good habit of keeping your arm straight to fall out. Again, do it once, keeping your eye on your elbow. Do it once, keeping your eye on the ball. Remember, it's a shoulder turn. And just think about when you get to that point where you feel like, wow, I really wanna bend my arms relax your arms and just focus on turning your shoulder it's a core turn your shoulders pull everything around not your arms 
Now your arms may not be in the position you think they should be. Remember the position for your arms in a golf swing. Do the standing up as you just fold your arms. This is the top of the backswing position for your arms. You can go to the top of the backswing and then stand up. And you'll notice that's where your arms are at. Try doing this drill. Now just stand up, come back straight, and that's where your arms are at. Your arms don't go around your body, they just fold in front of your chest. And then it's your chest that turns. So again, the motion on this drill, the two-parter to look, don't look, first look, look at your elbow, and then keep turning your shoulders, and then don't look, get to that same point, and turn your shoulders. It's look, don't look. You need to learn, learn how to maintain the straight arm and then turn your shoulders, turn your shoulders and think getting your back turned toward the target while keeping your arms straight. You don't want to tug on your arms. Just have your arms relaxed during the whole turn. Mm -hmm.